What's up guys, DJ back with another video. And today I have a friend of mine, a really cool card friend that we talk to, like I talk to a lot. Uh, his name is uh, Jay. Hi Jay, welcome to the channel. Thanks for hey. coming. Um, no, thank you. Uh, it's uh, gonna be an interesting video, I think, because uh, I kind of, uh, we kind of know each other and uh, I've seen what you have, but I think it would be cool to show the fans, what um, kind of Dragon Ball Super collectors have and what you have in your collection. Um, one thing I got to say about Jay is like the way he collects is like admi admirable. All right, guys. So it's like whatever he likes, even if it's cheap or it's not rare or anything like that, if he likes a card, he's just going to get that. And I think that's something important to think about. And I think we'll see that throughout the video when he talks about his cards because um, you can kind of tell that he actually really enjoys buying these things. So uh, I know we talk a lot about investing in cards on this channel and stuff like that, but you know, the collector side of things uh, I, I think is very important and that's like what keeps these kind of hobbies alive. So uh, it's really cool to have uh, a good friend of mine join, like show his collection on the channel. He's actually got quite a lot of stuff in PSA and Beckett. Uh, Beckett, do you have anything in Beckett or not really? No, just PSA. Just yeah. PSA, yeah. So, look, there's a lot of cards that he's probably not going to show us today, but we're going to see, I think, uh, some sealed product, some PSA cards, and uh, maybe some raw submission cards, possibly, maybe. Yeah, I've got some some for the yeah. future, yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, it should be quite interesting. Uh, we'll probably talk along the way about, you know, the sets that they're from and stuff like that. So I think that'll be pretty cool to show, especially the, the people that haven't really collected Dragon Ball Super before. Or they don't really know much about it. So um, most of this video will probably be Jay just showcasing what he has and uh, probably explaining a few of the cards like Secret Rares and I don't know if he's got SBRs to show or not, but I'll leave it to him and I'll uh, have my little commentary in the background um before we get started do you want to say anything or um actually you have an instagram if you guys want to check out his instagram um, yeah there's a lot of pictures there on of of his cards and uh he does have pokemon too so i know this is a pokemon slash dragon ball super channel but uh we're not going to look at pokemon cards today yeah we're just looking at dragon ball mm -hmm. super stuff it's just dragon um, ball yeah yeah, so uh, maybe Pokemon another day if uh, if he's up to it or if you guys want to see that too, then that's fine. But, um, yeah, you want to say anything before you get started in your showing off collection stuff? Uh, no, let's just crack into it. All right, cool. Wow, we're starting so off with a big one. <laughs> so I suppose where it started for a lot of people uh, would have been top or tournament of power. Um, which, of course, there are some obvious uh, rare cards that a lot of people would know about. Uh, I don't have the secret rare like old DJ here, but I do have a few <laughs> others from the set itself. Um, so we'll start with probably one of my favourite cards, which is a Beerus signature. Uh, I actually do have two, uh, one which I graded myself through a middleman. Um, and yeah, one that I bought a little while ago. So they're really cool. And I'll pop them up there. So you so pulled one uh, yourself, like from a packet? No. So I actually bought it off eBay uh, probably 10 months ago. Uh, um, yeah. So uh, which one would it have been? Would have been this one that I bought off eBay. Raw with a freezer. Uh, unfortunately, the freezer came back a nine, which I don't have here with me. Um, but yeah, I was lucky enough to get the BRS back in the 10, which is pretty cool. Yeah, congrats on the 10. Right. In saying that, there is a freezer 10 as well. So he's pretty cool. Um, you know, a lot of people are really drawn to these signature cards for their, their rarity or just the way they look. I think they look pretty cool. Um, it was probably never really in my original um, goals for the tournament of power signatures, but it's just something that did did come along while I was trying to get some other cards. So I'm pretty happy that I did get them. 
And yeah, those card prices are shooting up as well. They are. And uh, this is was probably the hardest one um, that I had to really hunt for. Um, this was a Instagram purchase, uh, thanks to a couple of people on there that uh, guided me the right way. So, yeah, that's beautiful. Really cool. You can you can definitely see that it does have some you call them print lines or foil lines. One right there, and I think Still there was another ten. one that. <laughs> Exactly right. And I think there's another one that goes through his head somewhere, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a really nice card, man. That Vegeta. Yeah. It, as I said, that was, that was the hardest one to find. Um, mm. You saw plenty of the other ones, but the Vegeta rarely came up in the 10, even raw. People just asking crazy money for him. So yeah, I was pretty lucky to get that one, I reckon. Um. How much probably, did you pay for that, by the way? Well, uh... um, I bought it with a bundle with a few other um, SPR cards. Um, I don't honestly remember, but that card would have probably been about 700 US, I'd say, wow. at the time. Yeah, about mm. 700 US. Um, I got a pretty good deal on it because I did end up buying... Another game. five cards off the guy. Yeah. Um, so just sort of chucked it all together. So I was pretty happy with that. And you'll see some of those other cards I bought as well. As I said, the SPRs and promos and things like that. So they're pretty cool as well yeah. from various other sets. Um, but yeah. And there is the Goku signature. Definitely my so, favorite. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think who, who was your really... favorite character, by the way, Jay? Um, look, I do him? like Vegito. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a Vegito, bit of a, yes. bit of a Vegito fan. Um, he's pretty cool. So that was actually the first card I ever bought was a v, uh, Vegito signature card a little while ago. Uh, that was the first card I bought. And uh, it's just down the the sort of hole from there. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's a lot the same as a lot of us. Exactly right. So yeah, that's sort of tournament of power. Um, as I said, I don't have that awakened power secret rare, which uh, is just ludicrous at the moment, price wise. So I don't have yeah. that one, but um, I'm, you might have I'm them one day, mate. Possibly, but I am happy with with what I've got there. So yeah. I can't complain with that. Um, yeah. So that's Tournament of Power. Um, what I'll do, I don't have sealed boxes of the TB2 and TB3. Um, so World Martial Arts and Clash of Fates. But I've I seen a lot do, of them going around at the moment. On uh, They Facebook. are. Yeah. Yeah, definitely going around. Um, is it something I want to buy? I'm not sure yet. They'll probably go up in price and then I won't buy them anyway. Um, but I have yeah. these pretty cool cards here. Those are obviously the best cards in that set, the World Martial Arts. Correct, yeah. So yeah. I don't think there were any secret reds in that one, just the SPRs. And they're the, again, the two best Instagram looking ones as well, purchase. the joining art. Correct, correct. So they're, they're, they're pretty cool there. They are, actually. That's Yeah. That's probably the only reason to buy those boxes, to be honest. But, yeah. I'd, I'd say, yeah. I mean, they're still fairly cheap, those boxes. Yeah. Um, and still affordable. So, I mean, I could buy one. but You should buy one. Probably, I probably should. I probably should. Buy it one. <laughs> buy one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the other one, Clash of Fates. So, this is the secret rare from... From Clash of Fates. I believe its pull rate was pretty high. That's why it's not a very desired high card, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But it but it is actually a really cool card. Um I actually got this one for free. Um, oh. in a in a bundle purchase, which I can talk about a bit later. It was a crazy deal. Um and if I, I had paid deal. Yeah, and if I had paid within that week, I'd get this for free. So I'm pretty wrapped with that, to be honest. 
Yeah, man. I've got any, anytime you get free cards, it's uh, happy times. Exactly right. So I've got one at PSA at the moment, but I don't know what, what it will come back as. So I just had to buy one just to be sure. And I've got some other random PSA 10 cards here as well before we crack into the other sets. So this is a pretty cool sort of promo, Vegito. Nice spoiling on that. Yeah. Yeah, this was a really nice one. One of the first ones I bought as well. I, I bought that along with a another signature card in a bundle deal also. So that's pretty cool. So that's a that's a promo card. Um is it? Yeah, PR? Oh no, it's expansion. Uh, it, it, yeah, correct. So that's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of those got, cards fly under the radar, I think, to be honest. I think they do, yeah. I mean, as you can just tell by the foiling, like that's... It, yeah, that's it's a beautiful... Cool. Yeah. So I was really happy with, with, with that pickup. Um, and then I sort of got on the Super Saiyan 4 bandwagon a bit. Hmm. And this is probably one of my favorite artworks, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Just... There's a jumbo version of that and a pre-release, I think. Yeah, I think there's definitely the jumbo one. So this is just a from a starter deck. Um, again, I have one at PSA, but I saw this come up for sale and I just couldn't say no. The artwork is just so good on a lot of these. It just strim into the card straight away. So I just, I don't know, foiling everything. It's pretty mm. cool. So I'm, again, happy with that one. Uh, and this is one of the cards um, that I bought with that Vegeta signature that came in the bundle. So, again, this one's pretty cool. Can't go wrong with Goku. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, and, again, Super Saiyan 4. So, mm. uh, you know, I wasn't a fan of the Super Saiyan 4 form in GT. Yeah. But uh, it's really grown on me with the cards. The cards are really good artwork. So You still watch GT, cool. though, yeah? Or not? Uh, <laughs> not really? Not really, no. I have to go back and watch it again. That's a popular uh, yeah. opinion that nobody watched it. <laughs> yes, I, I would have to definitely go back and watch it again. So, yeah. All right. You can borrow mine. So, <laughs> I'll just get another um, another free sub on uh, Anime Hub and just watch it there, I, uh, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So sealed boxes, I'll go through um, essentially from one to Unison Warrior. Um, I've got them all sealed. So Galactic Battle. So that's pretty cool. I've never actually opened one of these boxes before. Wow. The artwork on the bottom of the box. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't um, seen it, to be honest, either. Like the side, mm. pretty cool there. BRC so, yeah. jumper. Really um, cool box. No secret rares in that box, I believe. This, um, it usually says on the back or the top or something. Yeah, it does. So just um, four special rares and um, eight super rares. So, yeah, no secret rares in that particular box. Um, you know what's funny? Uh, I'm not sure if you know, but I made a video recently about the top four booster boxes in Dragon Ball Super, and uh, a few people said that Galactic Battle should have been fourth instead of Destroyer Kings, uh, or top five, I guess. But in saying that, well, like, there's no secret rares in it, so it's just kind of like I don't know. Uh, well, I guess the the special rares or the SPRs. I think they're Goku, like big Goku cards in that yeah yeah i think so yeah so um yeah i've never actually got to open one i sort of came into it a bit late um mm. but yeah it's uh it's good to have i reckon as a collector you sort of you got to get one of everything got to catch them all right. <laughs> exactly right the Pokemon. That, old Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that leads us to uh Second set, which is Union Force. Union Force. Um, as a lot of people know, there is a chase card in here. 
Oh, no, I'm on the bottom on that one. Uh, there is a chase card in here of a secret rare. Uh, a lot of people believe or say it's a grail being in the first secret rare, mm. uh, which it is a really nice card as well. So the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Um, yeah, it just speaks for itself. Hard to grade, I, I think. That's what people are saying because of the... Um, I think a lot of people played it, played with the card, yep. the first one. So, Correct, yeah. So um, a lot of them were in played condition as well. Um, I do actually have two at PSA at the moment. Um, and I've got another raw one here as well, which I will be sending off once they reopen subs. Yeah. Looks clean to me. So I've given it a bit of a clean up with the cloth also. So that one I think should be good nice. as well. But hopefully yeah. that one can I can double up and it's always good to have two two of something you enjoy. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Just in case. Exactly right. You need I'll a trade or sell or Well, that's it, you know. Um, it's always good to have a bit of um, trade barter. Exactly right. Mm. Um, another card from it, just a SR again, a Vegito. Uh, yes. I went, I went through a, a bit of a Vegito phase where I was just trying to buy everything I could Vegito. Um, and then another one from my sub, which came back a nine. Bit of a pity. But mm. that is. A really wow. nice card as well. The foils on that is just everywhere. <laughs> it, it definitely should have been a secret rare. It's definitely got the uh, the artwork to match. Exactly right. So yeah, came back a nine, which is a bit of a shame. But, yeah, really nice card to have as well. Yeah. So for you guys that don't know, uh, Jay is a really ten. He's a tens guy. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he, he doesn't like his nines. <laughs> and, uh, if it's a nine, I I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Especially for these kind of cards, they're kind of like really good quality. So you kind of expect the best of the best. Well, that's it as well. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of tens with really poor centering. Mm. Um, well, they look to be poor centering. Even some of mine, you think, how did that get a ten? Um, but it is what it is, to be honest. So. Exactly right. That's Not why we're playing about it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. Um, set three. Cross, Cross worlds. worlds. Uh, shouldn't crap on this is a bit iffy. I did try to fix it with a hair dryer. <laughs> I it believe did make it. <laughs> you told me <laughs> it that. Did yeah. make it, it did make it a bit better, but um, yeah, it's just a bit, a bit loose there for whatever reason. Not a whole lot. On so, do you store all these boxes in that in like cases or or something or not really? Uh, no. So, at the moment, I just have them in a drawer, um, okay. tucked away. I have some of them in tubs like this. Ah, uh, okay. I'll show you that one a bit later. Um, yeah. And I've got two of coin cases like that. So, yeah. Um, just the normal ones I've just got in a drawer for now until I can figure something out. I don't really want to pay $70 for a case per box. Yeah. Uh, that's just a bit crazy, to be honest. Uh, I actually uh, have a friend that's selling them quite cheap, and I, I can hook you up later after the video. Oh, <laughs> easy. I'll, I'll have a chat with you about that. Wink, wink. <laughs> Uh, so cross worlds, there is a pretty nice SPR. Again, Ooh. a Vegito card. So that's it's very good for you. Really nice for a Vegito fan, gotta love it. Exactly right. Again, with that sort of gold, gold lining foils, really sort of nice card. And the secret rare, which again is. Ah, beautiful. And I couldn't help myself but to double up on that one. So, <laughs> yeah. Magic. That is really nice, that card. I did when you put it next to... Um, 
when you put it next to the SS Blue Vegito, that card, they look like they're like attacking each other. Exactly, it does, and it and they do look pretty cool next to each other like that as well. So yeah, that's how I would probably display them, because mm. um, they just look really cool together like that. I agree. Yeah. But yeah, really nice card. Um, I did a lot of hunting for for my first one of these as well. I searched and searched and messaged people, and eventually one just fell into my lap. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, you got one for part, sale, don't you, at the moment? Uh, I have a raw one for sale, correct, yeah. So trying to sell a raw one just to help pay for my PSA fees because uh, they're getting a bit out of hand. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. If anyone's interested, um, you could probably message him on his uh, Instagram. Maybe. I actually do have it here as well. So there's the raw. There you go. So yeah. Pretty clean. I can send you videos and things like that as well. Um, but yeah, this was a part, or my second one was a part of the trade or the sale with this, I should say, mm. uh, the purchase with that card. So. Um, yeah, I'll show you that that sort of deal. I think you know that that deal which I made. To get I, I know them. a lot of the deals, but feel free to yeah. share them. I will. Yeah, most indeed. So, uh, yeah, that's Crosswell. That's pretty cool box as well. So, a pity about the shrink wrap, but can't do much about that. Can't be too fussy. No, exactly right. Um, now we move on to Colossal Warfare, which is actually one of the first boxes I actually opened um, mm. myself. So I did open a Colossal Warfare box and I pulled um, a few cards, which I really did like, like this one. Um, this nice. isn't the one I pulled. I bought this already graded because it's just a really cool card, I thought. Um, again, it's only a SR, so nothing crazy in value. Um, mm -hmm. But just another one of those really cool looking cards, which I just really wanted to have. And that's what and I was talking about have... before, guys, about the whole collector mindset, really. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a common card or something, you know, or if you like it, you like it. That's how it is. And and, and that's how I see it. If, if I like it, it doesn't matter too much on the value to me. It could be a $1 card in a $30 case, you know. If, yeah. if if I like it, then I'll more than likely buy it. And again, I've got some other cards as well, which are probably dollar cards each, but I've bought them in PSA just because I really did want them. So, yeah. Yeah. You got to do you, man. Well, that's it as well. Um, so this is an SPR from the set. Um, again, really cool. This is one I bought with the Vegeta signature. Um, yes. So that is really cool as well. Cool foiling. And the box I opened, uh, the first box I opened, I actually pulled this exact card, which I graded no. to a middleman. Um, and again, I couldn't help. <laughs> but again, I believe this is your favorite card. Uh, it is definitely one of my favorites. So I actually saw this card on my personal Instagram page um, and I was like, whoa, that card, like there's no Pokemon card that that looks like that. There mm. is nothing that, that compares to that. And that's what actually made me look into it and buy a box. So when I pulled that. Um, so what are the characters on it? I'm not sure if uh, so. there's um, like. Gohan as well, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, Kid Goku. Yeah, whole mix of Gokus, a Gohan there in the corner. I like how they do that. Like they mix, they put some extra characters on the card, not just one. And um, exactly right. And when you and turn it like, like that, it, it's like a whole new perspective. The the way they shine. Exactly right. Like that texture on it is just yeah. So when you turn it like that, say, it's like very different, like yeah. um, on each angle when you look at it. Sort of rainbow effect as well, which is really cool. So yeah, 
definitely one of my favorite cards there. And I was I was a bit worried when I sent it for grading because the back of it is its centering is is wild. Um, mm -hmm. I remember we um, kind of discussed a little bit about that um, early on when we first met about um, possible lenience, leniency on the, the PSA grades on because Dragon Ball was so new, they were kind of like giving 10s out on um, white specs and stuff. Yeah, and, and you, you see it quite a lot, those sort of white specs where they're classified as factory errors or whatever it is, but um, I'll show you later. I've got like a really bad centered on the back which i i still don't really know how they did how it they grade them it did get a 10 but it's it is on the back is just way off center just, like like if you like have a look at that mm. compared to that like that's yeah. to me that's wild but it yeah. got a 10 so and it got a 10 yeah yeah like that's just wild like you wouldn't see a Pokemon card like that, I don't think. I, I think it will get but, stricter over time. Well, that's the the thought process as well. That over time it will probably get stricter and they'll start marking harsh on them. But yeah, hopefully not, because hmm. they're all pretty bad to be honest with you. That brings us to. So this set, I don't have a PSA 10 secret rare on. Um, mm. It is a nice box. The secret rare is quite a nice card as well. I wasn't really a fan of it, to be Until honest. Until recently. Until recently, and I'll show you why. So I actually won this card... Um, in a Raz. In a Raz. Uh, I paid eight bucks for the Raz and I won this card raw and it came back a nine. A nine. Oh, yeah. So, as I said, I wasn't a real fan of it, but in yeah. the lighting, you can see like the details, just in his eyes, how they're sort of a rainbow reflection and his arms and things like that. Yeah. It's just really sort of sell the card now to me. And now I, really I wasn't a fan it. either, to be honest, as well. Um, there's there's something about it. I think the all, all, the whole card being gold is a bit like um, turn off for me. Like there's no other color. Yep. Like there is some color there, like the rainbow, like you pointed out. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I like it. But yeah, I, I can see why you, you weren't a fan at the start. Correct. Yeah, and then when I sort of got it again, and I looked, you know, you can just see all these small little details, all these rainbow mm. reflectors and, and things like that. So, again, that's a really cool card, disappointed in the nine. Um, but I do have, again, another, another card, roar, which, <laughs> which I'm hoping this time brings me back okay. the goods. Um, they must look better in person, those cards. It does, yeah. In, in person, it does look really good. I've, I've seen some, some photos on, on Instagram and things like that. And again, I wasn't a huge fan, but mm. um, in person, just now looking at it, it's just yeah, it's, it's a yeah. card that I that I do want to get eventually. Um, and I have again, this was a part of that Vegeta signature purchase. Two, oh. a few special rares. Um, again, that sort of gold, gold lining mm. foils. I do it's like those SPRs. There's, um, is that where it started? Because I think there's a, quite a few of those similar looking ones like that. Correct. So uh, this is where the set they started was set five. Uh, and then they went on to Destroy Kings. And then I think they stopped after that. Mm. Um, again, I do have a few of these at PSA as well, not the Goku and Vegeta. Um, but the other the variant, Frieza. SPRs. Yeah. Uh, not Freezer. I've got um, Broly. Gogeta, Broly, Gotenks, and a few others, I think. So uh, I've got a Boo as well that I've just mm. sent off recently uh, in a sub. So I'll say that in 12 months and hopefully that's a 10 as well. Yeah. 12 yeah. months, maybe two years, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've, 
<laughs> Don't feel like that. that. Yeah, let's hope not. Exactly right. So, what was that? That was five. So, five. Uh, another another big box, which was sort of slept on for a little while, I think, though, uh, is Destroyer Kings. Yeah, baby. So, Destroyer Kings. So, yeah, pretty cool, cool artwork on the box. Um, two secret rares in this one. One I have here to be graded. It's a pretty cool card. Again, I didn't really rate it until I held one in my hand. And then I was like, yeah, that's... that's so you don't have one card. graded at all? Just this raw one so far? Correct. Just, just the raw one. So mm. I don't have that particular card graded. Uh, I do, however, have... The best. Broly. Ah. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I got excited. No. <laughs> um, no, this one. So, again, gold foiling, a um, bit of a rainbow there as well. And this was another purchase through the Vegeta signature as well. So, yeah, I've so seen those move up for price as well, those um, Shenron cards, SPRs. Yeah. Again, really nice card. I think I had one which I pulled from a Destroyer Kings box, that, which I was going to grade, but you so can't pass up buying a 10. Exactly right. You, you, you can't pass up buying a 10. So yeah, It's just a safer bet, I guess. Exactly right. And wait 12 months to get an 8 or something like that. It's not worth it. And then comes... Yeah. The box. Here he is. So, Damn, that card's so good. Again, I wasn't a huge fan of this card when I first saw it in photos. Mm. Um, it wasn't a, a card that I was chasing or looking for. It just it fell into my hands. Uh, it was a purchase which I made with... Um, um, I got that freezer for free. The um, oh, yeah. Clash of Fates freezer. So... That was along with that one and that that one there as well. So uh, there's two more cards, which I'll show you, which I bought together in that deal as well. But, yeah. this And you'll a, tell us the price as well, yeah? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I might get unfollowed if I tell people the price. But, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll share that. That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a really cool card. And, and as you said, it is going up in value as well. Um, well, we just saw one sold for what three and a half or something on eBay. Yeah, three, three, four, something like that. If it gets paid for, that's a different story. So possible shields, we'll, uh, shield bids. Yeah, well, you never know manipulation. You, you know what what people are doing these days? So I've been saying that quite a bit on the channel, to be honest. <laughs> the market manipulation in DBS. Yes. Um, yeah, the the market has gone a bit silly um, mm. in recent times, but um, yeah, we'll see how it, it does goes. make it hard. Mm. It does make it hard. Um, that brings us to all right. So this is the box which I have in here, nice and safe and secure. So let me open him up. You can probably all guess where it is mm -hmm. if we're going in order. Which we are. And it is salt. salt. Oh, so again, salt. I bought this. This is one of the first boxes I bought as well. Um, it is one that I opened originally. Um, when you opened I it, did you pull it, anything? I did. So I actually pulled. So I've got that box delivered in the mail at the same time as my um, Colossal Warfare box. And I actually pulled a Tara Secret Rare. Mm. I did send it for grading, which did come back a nine. This is obviously a 10, though. Uh, I did sell the nine to someone on Instagram. I wasn't going to sell the nine, but uh, I sold him a raw one and I stuffed it up. So I offered him the nine instead. And uh, he was happy enough to take it off me. So... Yeah, a bit of a shame that didn't come back to 10, but I did end up actually buying one. 
I remember you wanting to time. get my one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think I've been 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 hassling you for a few, but that's yeah. all right. I'll get him one day. <laughs> <laughs> He's very persistent, right. guys. If you, got, <laughs> if you got a card he wants, he'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is probably the set that I have most slabs for. Um, and I guess we'll start with just the, I guess, a common, because why not? Um, it's not the pre-release version. It's just a, a foil or whatever you want to call it. Mm. Yeah, really I've seen cool them floating card. around recently. The pre-release one, though. But, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So this oh, just, the back. Yeah. Just the standard common card. Um, I love the Lido cards. Yeah. They're Definitely. great. When they're put in the casing the way you want them, not. Yeah. I know. Not Imagine if they put it the other way. way. Exactly right. Uh, that'd be a worry. <laughs> but yeah, that is um, yeah, just a common card, but a cool card that I did want to get. And then at the same time, in that same purchase, I bought a rare. That's video. nice. So, so the sparkle my, on that, yeah. Yeah, that sort of shadow foil. I think they call it, which is pretty cool. Um, I was trying to sell them, but then I thought, nah. No. I like my 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 Super Saiyan Blue Vegeto, so yeah, I guess I'll that's a good thing them. about some of those cards that uh they're not secret rares. Everyone talks about secret rares and SBRs and stuff, but there's cards like that that are so affordable for any anybody to just buy and, and grade if they wanted to. Exactly right. And um, you know, they're just they're just good looking cards, like they're they're just nice. Yeah, and one day, hopefully, when I have enough space, I can display them all in in the way I want, which would be really cool. That'd be the dream. That's the collector's um, <laughs> issue: not having space. <laughs> exactly right. So that brings us to an SR. Nice. Which this is the you've got the SR, the SPR. And the SPRS, which is the signature, of course. This is the SR and the SPR. Very so nice. Pretty cool. Again, I mean, this would probably be Vegeta. one of your favorite sets, considering how much Vegeta there is. Correct. So this is a lot of my purchasing came from this this set um, when I first started off, because it was sort of the set that I was um, hunting the most. And these cards just popped up for me. So, again, I couldn't say no to, to cards I really did did want to buy um, just because I like the artwork. So, mm. there's another SPR. Again, really yeah. cool card. And then there's the SPRS version as well, which I'll get into in just a moment. Quite a few things to chase in this uh, sort of the same set. Well, well, that's it. And, and that's why I picked this particular box to buy first because I was doing my, my research into it and there were the, the four signatures plus the two secret rares. So your chance for a hit was, uh, was, was quite good. So that's why I went for a Saiyan box and I actually ended up buying two, opening two boxes. Um, didn't get a hit on the second one, which was a bit, um, I mean, Bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is, but yeah. it did help me finish up my sort of binder set, which I was pretty happy about. Um, and then I had a hunt for the, uh, for the, the signatures. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, um, my first ever Dragon Ball purchase was a signature card and it was this card here. So it was the most expensive card I had bought at the time um, in Pokemon or Dragon Ball. As I said, the first Dragon Ball card I bought. Mm. Um, and then I was lucky enough that a second one fell into my hands as well. So that was pretty cool being one of my favorite cards as well. Yeah, um, definitely. And I, have, and I have two more at PSA at the moment. So I think there are the most... That's the most expensive signature card from a Soul of the Saiyans. 
I believe so, yeah. So I've seen these raw ones go for crazy prices as of late. Mm, um, I did even see Even more that. so than, than Hit, who people think is the... Hardest one to grade. Hardest one to grade, but also the worst card of, of the four, which... <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I do like the purple on it, but yeah, um, yeah the, it, it is a cool card to have that that hit in in my opinion, um, and it is harder grade. Um, I've got one at PSA at the moment, so if it, again, fingers crossed, it comes back a ten because it looked pretty clean to me. Um, and then this was trunks, trunks, and again a second one. Um, I actually had three of these at one point um, and I had to sell one to fund this that five purchase. Card purchase. Yeah. yeah, so I had to sell one to then buy them, which, yeah. I mean, I don't like selling my 10s, but... You got to do what you got to do, man. <laughs> exactly right. So, again, really cool card. Uh, I saw this on eBay and I was going back and forth with the mm. guy trying to buy it. And I eventually found him on on Instagram. Uh, he gave me a really good deal on there. So uh, persistence pays off, that's for sure. Yeah. Persistence does pay off. You're probably one of the best at persistence. <laughs> well, <laughs> I haven't given up yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as we mentioned, the hit is probably the rarest in a 10 in this set, I think there's only a pop at the moment of 38 of these. Mm. So pretty, pretty cool to have it. Um, again, another Instagram purchase as well. And that was just through a sheer comment that I made on his post saying, Hey, is this for sale? And he said, not at the moment. And then six months later, he messaged me and said, Hey, it's for sale. Do you want to buy it? And I said, yep. Yes. And, and I actually bought, with it, um, of raw Vegito signature, and there was probably a raw hit which I actually sold to you, um, <laughs> and, and and a few other cards as well. So yeah, that again, that was a pretty cool bundle deal, which I got there. So, you got to love the bundles. I always try and bundle. That's the secret. Try and bundle as much as you can. And then that leads us to boom, the Gohan. Nice. Again, I have, I do have, um, I've actually got two Gohans at PSA. Um, but again, I didn't really want to wait for them to come back. They could be eights or nines or, mm. so you just got to Mr. Ten. go with the punches. Yeah. Get, get those tens. And if they come back anything other than so be it. Um, and yeah, I've already shown the Patara, which is one of my favorite cards as well. So that is that set, which is probably one of the, the, the best of sets. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of hit cards in that particular set, which just makes it really cool as well. Mm. well I'll just put that back in its box and. You can just look at the cards, guys. Just look at them. <laughs> so that brings us to set eight, which I'm not very familiar with, to be honest with you. Mm. It is a cool, cool box. It does have a really cool secret uh, rare chance card, in my opinion. So we'll put that like that. I've seen them going um, for quite, uh, I think, 500 or something like that recently. The actual boxes? Yeah. Apparently, they're, they're not easy to find. Yeah. See, that's funny because it was only a few months ago that people couldn't, couldn't even sell them. And mm. now, <laughs> and now it's a different story, man. Yeah. That's it. So. There we go. Yeah. Again, this was a part of these. So there's one more card, which I bought in this five-card bundle, which was pretty cool. Again, I didn't really hunt 
for this card. It just sort of fell into your lap, fell into my lap, which I'm pretty happy about because I did want to try and get a secret rare of each set. Uh, so I think I've done that nearly anyway. I've nearly accomplished that, which is pretty cool. I'll pop him there because that's a pretty cool card. Um, but yeah, for that set, as I said, I'm not very familiar with that particular set, um, but it does have a pretty cool chase card in there as well. So we're getting into the actual last box that I have any slabs for. Um, um, again, Because uh, a lot of my stuff is actually tied up at PSA at the moment. But mm. as you probably already pointed out, it is Universal Onslaught, um, which I did buy a box when it came out and I did, did open it and didn't get any pulls. And then mm. I had a hunt for a sealed box because I wanted a sealed box for my collection and they sold out like crazy. So I was lucky enough to actually get a sealed box for a decent price off um, off Facebook. So pretty cool box. Yeah. Do it's, I miss it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you probably do, or you probably will soon anyway. Yeah. Um, again, there is a obvious chase card in that set. Um, this not being it, but this is a really cool. <laughs> I like, cool yeah. SR. Beautiful art. Uh, again, I actually pulled this one, which I was looking at grading myself, but then someone posted this for sale as a 10 and I just had to have it. So I've, I've got another similar card at the moment at PSA, which I paid maybe 2 or $3 for. So mm-hmm. uh, hopefully that comes back a 10 as well. But the big card and the last card of the five card deal with these ones is the apex. So was that already graded or was it raw? You had to grade it yourself. Uh, no, so this I bought the ten. So I bought the the four tens and got the, the fifth ten for free. Mm. Um, I was actually talking to the guy on Facebook and. Uh, at the time, he, he actually pulled this card himself and he said, I just bought a Universal Onslaught box. And I said to him, with your luck, you're going to get the Apex. And 10 minutes later, he sent me a photo and this is that card. So it feels like I've pulled it myself, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. with the story. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool card. Um, again, that's the last or the fifth card in that. So you had the Apex, the Broly, the Vegeta, that one, and then that one for free. So that was the best probably bundle purchase I've, I've made. Really, really good one. Um, price? What was the price? <laughs> so the price uh, for We're the gonna... Apex, yeah, let me just line them up. We're going to kick ourselves when we hear this price, I reckon. One, two, three. And I didn't buy these that long ago. I've run out of stands, but that's all right. And those two. So for those five, oh, three. So for those and the free one uh, was 2,500 Australian. So, Dang. yeah. That's such a good deal. <laughs> so well, said, it, 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 considering yeah. today's prices, of course, you know. Exactly right. And um, at the start, I, uh, I said to the guy that I bought them off, don't worry about the Apex or the Broly because I can't afford them anyway. And, uh, and he said, yeah, yeah, they're not going to be for sale. And then he actually posted them for sale and asked him how much he wanted for them. And he said, just throw me an offer. I think that that's how it went anyway. Mm. And, uh, and a little bit of back and forth and then we landed at that price. So, yeah, pretty happy with that, to be honest, because um, at, at, at the rate they're going, they're cards that I would never be able to afford anyway. So mm. to have them now is is really cool. 
play some really cool cards. And these cards you will most likely never, never sell. Correct. So, I mean, I don't plan on selling anything, especially anything that I have only one of. Yeah. Um, if I've got two or three, then I may potentially think about selling them. Um, but no, if, you know, I've had people message me on, on Instagram saying, I'll give you 3000 for this or, or whatever the case is. I'm like, uh, I'm not selling at the moment. So I think so people yeah. have definitely thrown out sort of big offers there. Um, but yeah, just, I can't say myself parting ways with them just yet anyway. Um, yeah, I'll, I want to have a have a display and have them on display. Um, you know, I I don't want to keep them in a safe forever, mm -hmm. like, like I sort of am at the moment with my um, drawer with my little storage box. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I, I I want to display my. I want people to see them, um, even if they think they're the kids or whatever the case might be. You know, they're this is what I enjoy buying and collecting. So, yeah. A bit, a bit there. Um, so, yeah, as I said, I don't have any other slabs um, to show because everything else is tied up at PSA. But I do have boxes, the sealed boxes. So, Rise of the Unison Warrior. Um, is that a split? No. Um, yeah, so the... Gogeta Secret Rare, I've currently got at PSA as well, which is a pretty cool card. Um, trying to think what else I have down at PSA at the moment. There's a fair few down there. We might have to do oh, a yeah, PSA right. reveal when, when you get them. I'll definitely have to. I have that many cards there at the moment. Oh, not as many as some people, but for me, it's a lot. Um, this is probably one of my favorite sets, to be honest. The Bloodline, artworks. Yeah, and, I remember yeah. talking about this with you, and at the time you were saying people weren't a fan, but now I think a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah. So I I remember when the secret rares got released, and some some people weren't happy with them, and mm -hmm. um, you know people were saying the SPRs are better, which the SPRs in this set. Are, just awesome you know you've got the um the vegeta gold foil you've got the super saiyan 4 goku earth protector super saiyan blue gogeta um which but you have all these cards but they're all at psa correct <laughs> correct yeah. so i've seen so them. he's selling the, the truth game <laughs> yeah uh so yeah they're they're all at psa um hopefully one day when they come back at least one of them will come back at 10 because I've got a few copies there. Um, that's the dream, just to get some 10s. That's all I want. And you, you have the secret rare for this set? I, I do, actually. So I got the Broly secret rare, um, again, at PSA. Mm. Uh, I do have my concerns on it with its centering. It was a cheap raw card to buy at the time. It's not anymore. Um, so I bought it subbed it it's expressed so hopefully it's back within a Two month years. or so <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think it's been a month now so hopefully another two months maybe hopefully fingers crossed um but yeah the the centering on it's i don't have much confidence in it but mm. as i said i've seen a lot worse 10 so yeah see how it goes we'll, so we'll see what happens um, and that brings me to my last sealed box because I haven't picked up my other boxes just yet. Um, they're waiting for me at the store. But vicious, rejuvenate. Vicious. So um, I didn't really like too many of, of the artworks in this particular set. Mm. Um, I it's don't the same think with I a lot have. Of yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I actually have any in my grading pile or I've sent for grading um, mm. just sort of binder cards at the moment. I go through them every now and again to see if there is anything that I do do like in particular to send off but um, nothing's you, really cool. You just have to get the box. Yet. Well yeah, I, I bought two boxes. I opened one as I normally do. Keep the other one sealed. So um, yeah. yeah. 
you just have to have it as a sealed sealed collector as well. Um, yeah, PSA and, and sealed. So that's that's basically my Dragon Ball collection. Oh, I do have these as well, which a um, really awesome person on Instagram did send me. Um, they they didn't this, this. even want anything for them, so these came from for America because you can't buy for free. They didn't want anything for them. Um, nice. I offered and offered, but no, they they said no again because this is probably one of my favorite sets of artworks. Mm. Um, so it is something I did have to have, and you can't buy blisters in Australia for some reason. So that's very that yeah really cool. Quite interesting to know that there's no blisters here. Yeah, I mean, I've never actually seen them. Um, I've never found them. Um, I've only seen them on Instagram from over um, American from overseas. Collective. Correct. So yeah, uh, I mean, it, it is pretty actually cool to have, um, and I'm pretty happy I do have them to be honest. Because yeah, I just really like the the look of them. That's also um, a great another option for sealed if you can't afford boxes. Well, that's it. Just just get the um, because I mean, yeah. where's the box gone? Um, you know, you've got the box there, and you've basically got the art. You know, you've got Broly. You've got Broly there. Uh, you've got a Goku. Yeah, you've, you've got a Goku, Goku. on the box. We've got a Gohan. We've got a Gohan on the box. Um, you might have a Vegeta on the box somewhere. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah. I mean, these blisters are pretty cool. Like they're they're pretty crisp as well, as you can see. Yeah. And I just thought them with really, you can really tell. boxes. So um, yeah, I was really um, I really did appreciate the person that that did send them to me. Um, and they didn't want anything for them, so that was was really cool. Um, apart from that, I think that is it for my Dragon Ball collection, guys. It's a very impressive collection, man. You pretty much have everything that somebody wants. You're just, I guess, missing that secret rare from top. <laughs> but well, I'm sure you'll get one. <laughs> I'm, I might get one one day. I'll, I'll see how I go. I'll, I'll see how my persistence goes, hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i mean if uh anyone has questions about collecting uh feel free to drop them in the comments below also feel free to follow this guy on instagram he showcases a lot of these things there and um you can really tell that he actually loves these cards and um you know he's actually got a passion for collecting so I think mean, that's uh, healthy for the hobby when you got genuine collectors out there. But um, he's got an awesome Instagram page. You can follow him there. I'll leave it in the comments as well. Um, if you want to see him back again, maybe we'll do like a PSA submission or a PSA reveal video if he's down for it. If you guys want to see that, let us know as well. But yeah, we can call it a night. It's a decently long video, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, I think I've... Um, I think I've gone through all my knowledge on sort of Dragon Ball cards. Um, I like how you yeah. went in order as well, especially for people who don't know what came first and, you know, a bit of hierarchy between the sets and stuff and what comes in the set. So I think that was really helpful. Uh, yeah, for sure. And, and, and if I can help someone, that's um, always good. Um, if anyone's ever got any questions, you can always just drop me a message on my Instagram, like you said. Uh, and I'm always more more than happy to help or just down for a chat as well. Um, I like just chatting to people about their collections, about their goals and things like that. Um, you know, it, it sort of brings us all closer together. And if I can help someone find a card or sell them a card or anything like that, then, then I'll be happy as well. So That's literally how we, how we met, guys. So yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he sold me a Dark Explorer's booster pack art set from Pokemon. And ever since then, this was like ages ago. You can look through the channel. I think I posted that video last year or a year and a half ago. And we still talk every single day, like nearly every single day about Dragon Ball Super and prices and there's anything, collector stuff. All sorts of things. 
Yeah, all sorts awesome. of things. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll call it a night. Um, thanks so much for showing your collection, man, and um, being on the channel. Uh, thank we, you. Yeah, we can have you again, man, if, you, um, if you're down for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm always down. If I get some, some more stuff, I'll, uh, I'll shoot you through a message and, and we'll do it again. Sweet. Done. See you guys next time. Bye.